All right, so we're back on the south loop. We have our, our line. Just a kick. No shame. So once you've run through a loop and you know what to expect, you have a lot better uh, understanding of your line and what's coming up and what the out is. Yeah, it's a jump opportunity, but if you're off, you're off. As an off-road. It's not too bad, it's like, um, I'm gonna say like 10.30 or something, 10.40. And yeah, if you stop, it's hot. But if you're, uh, as long as you're moving, Paying attention, <laughs> you're good. I was in fourth gear coming down all that. Which is too fast to dab. Well, this was good practice for Big Ben because that's the kind of shit you got. But more and steeper. Yeah, see a little more confidence. Came down that in second gear. both ways. I know I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere because I missed that one little section. But I didn't really want to backtrack because you're going you're going the wrong way. So if you miss something, you miss it. All good. All good. Not sure if I just got back on the same loop or not. 
It does kind of look familiar. We'll see when we get over here. Find some shade here. Because we're back. Back on the street again. Yeah, we're back. Back on the street again. what we got here. Well, we're either doing it again or this is still part of it. Somehow I feel I've done this already, so we might break off at one of these roads here. I think the switchbacks I did earlier I just wasn't paying attention this kind of looks familiar I mean, this part can be done on the Africa Twin. You know, you just have some areas that might present some issues. But totally uh, doable. Like that. That's just concentration. So, that's why I love this gear. You just roll out of it. Yeah, I've been having trouble uh, shifting. Hey, rhythm, rhythm. There you go. Uh, honestly, the, the slower stuff is definitely definitely harder just because you have momentum. The slower you go, the easier it is to get bounced off your line or to just lose your balance in the line. Uh, 
uh, the Africa Twin, I'd be pulling out my rescue uh, stuff to get that sucker up. Plenty of stuff around here to do that. Unless you're like laying down over here, and if you don't have long enough to your left, then you don't have long enough in a clearing like that, then you might be uh, you might be screwed. But if I were to bring my stake, I'd be okay. There you go. Use those berms. Getting the feel of my brakes. So you can easily do this in third gear right here. You just gotta be paying attention. Because you got you get into these guys here and there's no there's no forgiving. I mean you can you can pop out of there and stuff, but if you're if you're off balance and you're struggling. You know, if you wanted to just pop out of one of these, you could, knowingly. Oh, mirror got the tree. Have to turn them in a little bit. The only reason I, I like having this, I want to see if there's someone behind me. Nope, we're going easy. Just roll out. I'm getting a workout. So are my bird busters. It's a bad position right now. So let's try that. Got him in a hole here. Yeah, I was stuck in this hole and I'd get up to full leg extension, but nothing, nothing, no way of pushing. And not to mention this a uh, second time in the past five minutes. I was just gonna, if no one came by, I was just gonna rest, give it a fresh shot. See, I'm on this slope. You want me to get on that? Uh... Yeah. Pull it up. One, two, three. Cool. Thank you. Question. Yeah. So I've been doing the south loop. Uh huh. From the lot. Yeah. Am I going around in circles? No, it'll end. It's a. It's like a one-way loop, and it'll end back at the lot. How far are we from the lot? Um. Cause I've been on this sucker for like 45 minutes. Yeah, South Loop's the long, probably okay. the longest. Okay. Um, you might be like... I missed a turn somewhere, but I went down that hard, that shelf. Yeah. And then I kind of lost the trail. Um, I found it again, and I didn't know if that was like the end when I got back to the street. No, yeah, this South Loop's the longest. You might be, you might be like halfway. Oh, okay. Um, Probably like because we're in the plant 
the plains for me is kind of like the halfway point um yeah and then here it, it's more flat and you know flowy and then you go back kind of like when you're going back towards a lot it gets a little more technical but if you just take the easy lines yeah i've been taking the easy um, line it should be all right the first yeah. time out here first time on this bike and the single yeah. track so yeah it's uh what is that two three hundred three hundred okay nice. i have it geared down to a 48 on the back so it's really quirky yeah i can go up stuff that i would normally go in first gear and second gear and have a lot of torque nice yeah that's the same with this uh, it's not good on the street, but it's not a street bike. Yeah. Oh, we got to take all this crap off this morning. I was gonna take my mirrors off. And yeah, this, and and I get, just, uh, get dinged up. Yeah. Uh, way down our well, track. it's just they get in the way. I, I hit a tree a couple times. Yeah, there's some low hanging branches. Yeah. yeah. I'm about to duck for. Oh, I, I got back by one and I was carrying it with me. Jeez. And I come to a stop and peel it off me. Yeah, you gotta be careful. There's some of those rules. Yeah. Well, I'm taking it slow. I mean, okay. I'm rarely in third gear unless on some straightaways where i see what's going on but when i come into an area i don't know what's going on i'm in second gear yeah that's smart um and yeah I'll... i mean this right now is probably halfway ish it's hard for me, okay hard for me to say but yeah if you ever have a if you want to bail at any point, i don't want to bail i just yeah. want to make sure i'm not taking it over again no no yeah you'll know um, okay it'll it'll end at the uh at the, the oh it does because it doesn't show that on the map but yeah you'll uh I'll see it back to a lot at, at some point. It's the end, like I said, the end it gets a little more techy. Like right now in the plains here, it's yeah. like well, I've gone through quite a few technical stuff in the first part. Yeah, when you're going from 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 the yeah. lot to get kind of to the slow spot. Yeah, where it yeah. splits and says north and south. Yeah, so I went the south loop, mm -hmm. and I've just been following that, and kind of avoiding where it says the hard because I want to I want to learn this this route first and know what's coming up that's Definitely. the biggest thing if you don't know what you're to expect yeah, then you, can. you get caught off guard so well yeah this one's south loop so like i mean there is some like tricky spots but once you know you like ride it a couple of times yeah. you know what to expect um it's yeah it's your setup is already you already have your setup and you know the speed you need to be and this you know i'll scout so i'll come to some place and i'll get on I'll, no yeah. i'll just come up to it to where i can see where i can see the out because all you do is see a ledge and you can't see down here but once i can see what's down here i know okay go that way yeah, that way this is what's coming out yeah i could just do it on the fly but what if it's something that's super gnarly and i'm on yeah. the wrong track <laughs> you're not meeting rocks right there right call there yeah yep. the north loop's definitely the um the more difficult of it it's way yeah. it's way more difficult. i'll do this one a few times yeah i come out i'm coming out here every weekend just to practice nice I got well, some BDRs um, I want to do. Well, uh, good riding and. Uh, All right, well, I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. No
lot easier on those to go to go nice and slow, I mean nice and fast. Been uh, 40 years since I've ridden a berm. Takes a little getting used to. You know, slide into that berm. Plus, I still really struggle to uh, shift while standing up. That's twice I've hit the uh, drain my composure. That was just the left leg slipping. I stepped down and there was nothing there. And that's why I wanted to uh, take the visor off because I keep hitting it. I don't think I have tools in the with me or back at the so we'll just have to deal with it. Some of these trails would be considered expert for like a BDR, so this would be good training for a BDR. Bang in that sucker again. Maybe if someone has a, a wrench I could use. It's pretty easy to take off.
what I'm talking about. Fucking cut my lip on this fucking on the shield. I was swearing, swearing about that fucking thing and. Oh, it hit your nose? How bad it is. Uh, yeah, I figured so. Yeah, let me. Uh, I was hitting this thing left. I'm just it's getting. Not on you, is it? The bike? No, no, I'm just okay. yeah, trying to get in a position that I can function. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't prepared for the last one. Yeah, that got really choppy there. Yeah. But otherwise, I made it through the first part. It's just, I was just bouncing around.